Hello everyone, we are going to show you a little bit here on how to take a model that you have in Blender and make this a um, asset bundle in Unity. Um, this would be for Tabletop Simulator. If you're not familiar with Blender, I would recommend you look at the video that I had where um, Cardboard Hustle showed um, a very good clinic on how to do basic stuff there in Blender. I'm going to assume that you already know how to do that. So what we're going to look at here in Blender, we're going to look at this model right here. And we can see that this model looks really good right now. Um, He's got a lot of nice detail on him. You know, it looks really nice. And if we go over here and look at how many faces we have, he sees that he has 465,000 polys, which is way too many for um, tabletop simulator to run. You're going to need to shrink him down a good bit here. Um, we're going to need to do something like 0.09% to get it down to a number that it can do. So we'll go ahead and drop the polys down on this and we'll wait on my computer to do its work here. And you can see now that while the poly count is now acceptable and just kind of barely acceptable there, we can see that he's gotten very, very blocky looking here and that this is not a good look here and so if we were going to export this as an OBJ this is what it would have to look like to go in there well can we do this without having to do that and the answer is yes we are going to use a program called unity so let me show you how to find unity we're gonna start off at the tab tabletop simulator knowledge base we're going to look for the um, stuff here on the custom asset bundles and this is going to show us where we need to download some things and I'll show you what you need to download first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download and install unity so you're going to have to find the unity installer now this is going to tell you that you need this version of unity here 2019.1.14 f1 this is a lie do not pay attention to that the version that we actually need to get is going to be 2019.1.0 f2 so that is the one that we've got to find We'll click on this archive here and this will send us here to the unity archive and what we're going to do is instead of downloading the version that they told us we're going to go down here there's a lot of versions of unity here i may have to actually search for this here there we go 2019 once again 2019.1.0 f2 so right here we will get this 2019.1.0 this will be the one that we will get don't get the one that it says there on the tabletop simulator website there that won't be the right one download this one for whatever operating system you're in i'm showing you how to do stuff on windows if you're using mac or linux you're gonna have to figure out stuff on your own and you can download it this will take it some time once you get that downloaded the next thing you're going to need to do is to download a custom project and then you will open that in unity once you get it installed that project can be found here at github we'll click on that and you'll see this pop up you're just going to want to download do that and we'll go to download zip and you will download it and that's what you have going on there and that's the two things you'll need and once again just make sure that you get that version that I told you not the version here 
that you'll see on the tabletop simulator knowledge base that's going to tell you a version of unity but that version of unity is not right not 1.14 but 1.0 okay once you get unity installed you're going to see this unity hub pop up if you can have different versions of unity installed to have different things we are not going to want to make a new project here we're going to want to add the project in here that you want to get so we're going to click add then you're just going to select the after clicking add you're just going to select the folder that you put it in and it will put that up here and have that right there for you then you can just click that and it will open up okay unity is a big program it's going to take it a little bit to open up here i'm just going to show you the basic workflow you have to do to get this all installed in here so we'll want to import an asset in here of course we'll need to go back to blender we're going to need to file and export this we're going to want to make sure this is all joined together make sure you have your origin point and everything where you want it let's export this as an obj right here just in the root drive of d there just to make it easy for me to find it it's going to take you a little bit of time to save there as you can see with this cursor i'm not responding oh right, now we are okay now we're going to here right click import a new asset go to my d drive here's the sam project obj and we'll import it it'll take it a little bit of time to import this is okay these are big files okay it'll show up and you'll see it here now so let's go drag him right up into here there he is you can see him you know maneuver around and what all looks like he's there good yay now we could straight up just um send him out um into um tabletop simulator exactly as he is right now if we wanted to we would just right click we would just click on sam project there we'd right click it we are then going to create and this will be a prefab variant now we'll click on the prefab now we click on the prefab variant the asset bundle we're going to make a new one i was working on some stuff earlier so you can see those we're going to make a new bundle and we're just going to call this sam project one just for that we click it and we will see it there so now we could just right click out here somewhere go to build asset bundles it's going to look like it's doing nothing for a second here then it's going to start doing stuff and it's going to actually build the asset bundles so let's see if we can get tabletop simulator open and see what this looks like once we get into tabletop simulator you look at sam project one to see that he is 6.8 megabytes so he is um, way under that limit that you have for 20. Once again, as you're familiar with this here, we're going to create a game here. And we can essentially just make a single player thing and just close that and just use the basic table here. So we're going to objects, we're going to go to components, we're going to go to custom components, and we're going to go somewhere different. Normally you go to model to bring a model in. We're going to go to asset bundle. Drop it right there. Click our thing up there. Our main, we will click that. And now where you're going to find this is going to be where you, it's going to be in the folders there where you where you downloaded that to. So I have it under downloads, tabletop simulator, modding master, then asset bundles. And yeah, I've made a bunch of stuff here. But we are just looking for SAM project one. We're going to open that. It's going to ask me if I want to do it on the cloud, upload it to the cloud, or if I want to hit local. Let's go ahead and hit cloud, send him to the cloud. It'll take it a little bit of time to upload it here because it's going out to the internet. Okay, this is done, so we'll hit import. It's 
going to drop there, take him a moment to load, and there he is. And you have him in Tabletop Simulator. Okay, we can change a color on him here. And we'll see that he will change color. So there you go. You know, whatever you want to do with him. Name him. There you go. See, he's good there. And you could save him if you felt like it. We could go into the official unmatched mod. And we'll grab a couple of the official fighters here. Hey, where are you guys going? Come back. We get these guys, we can drop them there. Then we can objects and save the object and we'll grab this guy. And there he is, see? He's there. He's good height compared to the others. Yeah, it looks good. A lot sharper looking image than these guys. These are really nice. Nice here. Now you may be like, okay. I want it to be shiny. I mean, well, that's some other stuff that we can do in Unity. Okay, so, let's first of all, let's go ahead and delete this prefab variant. Go away, you variant. We're going to work on this guy right here. Just double-click that and do it. Okay, so we click him once here and highlight him. There we go. Once we get them highlighted orange, we can start doing stuff. Well, to add a collider is pretty simple. You can go to Add Component. Go to Physics. You can add a box collider, which will let you make a square around it. You can select a capsule collider, which would let you put a um, kind of a little pill-shaped thing. A spear collider. Or you could do a mesh collider and add a custom one. Add a custom one. We're going to want to import an asset. You're going to need to bring in your collider. There's my collider. So we'll put that in there. You know, this is just the cylinder. It's the diameter of the of the base. About the same height as my regular uh, thing there. So once I click it once to make it blue, click it a second time to make it orange. We'll add component. Then go to physics. Mesh Collider. Bring all this up here. The mesh we will change by clicking that. It's going to show everything that's available. We got default, which is that thing there. We see that that goes pretty well. And there we go. See, he's got a collider now. Look at that. Let's just turn the. Could do that just to I mean, turn the collider on and off. I'm just getting it out of the way. Okay. So let's say we want to make this guy. We'll make this guy shinier because, you know, we don't like him being all matte like that. Well, we can hit the materials and you can play around with materials. You have some different ones in here. Let's just take plane. We just drag it. We drop it on him. Oh, look at that. That made him shiny. Now, you may not have that material specifically like that here. Yeah, this right here under plane, which is what we added on it. We can play with this. See that changes things on him a good bit. See now he's like a lot more matte. It's a lot shinier. Gives a little bit more of a look to it there. You can play around in here and do all kinds of stuff with him on that. We're not gonna. We'll do that and then we're gonna turn our mesh collider back on because we want the collider on. So okay, now we go back here to assets. So what do we do now? Because we can't make a uh, thing from that. We need it to be this guy. Well, right here, we can select that. And you see that that highlights all that. So we'll drag that into there. And say, so would you like to create a new original prefab or a variant of this prefab? Let's create a prefab variant. We'll click that. We'll do this. We're going to make a new one. We'll call this Sam... Sometimes it does this with the typing. It doesn't want to type in there sometimes. So we're a little... There we go. 
weird little bug there. Project 2. Alright, so there's Sam Project 2. He should be shinier. Once again, right click. Build asset bundles. Boom. Nothing for a bit. And there now it's building. Yeah, we can see it's not much bigger at all. It's like 12k bigger to add the rest of that to it. Hey. Tabletop simulator. Let's get these guys out of the way. Object. Custom. Asset bundle. Do that. We're going to select that. Sam Project 2 open. I'm going to send it to the cloud. Upload. Oh, there we go. That's done. Now we can import. It's going to do its thing. There it is now. Let's look at this. But really, I can't get them to come out quite as shiny as I would like them to be. Um, if we look at these here. Yeah. You can tell this one's a little bit shinier looking here at the brim of the hat. Um, the smooth surfaces have a lot more shine on them, but you know, that's going to be about about all the difference I can make on it. Some models, it's a little bit more obvious that they're shiny. And I've got some others that I've been able to get to look really nice um, you know, using this method here. Yeah, this guy here, you can tell he's kind of shiny on the helmet there. But once again, I can't get him quite as shiny as I would like. But, but anyway, here you can see I've got the collider working, so that's good. You know, where he'll just, you know, pass through the others there, since he goes off his base more than this one. But anyway, that's a basic look of what to do there to get you some of these that would be much nicer looking, so you don't lose all the detail on them. Um... You can take a look. Uh, my other channel have got some other resources for being able to do stuff here in Tabletop Simulator and hope to get some more on it later. And we'll see you around next time.